So a sister from Atlanta posted a video on TikTok describing what happened to a homeless couple after she tried to pay to put them in a nice hotel for Christmas night. Check it out. This is the counter. Y'all, this is the counter that they said that they felt like these people were gonna jump over when they called the police on them. Jump over this? I chose this hotel. I chose this. You can record me, don't put her on the camera. I chose Wingate to keep them for Christmas. I chose y'all hotel to comfort them and show them love on Christmas and to feed them and give them shelter on Christmas and y'all denied them of that. So Wingate, discrimination, complete discrimination. Them people should not have been put out of their room on Christmas. Look how this could have turned out. You called the police and said this. This man probably could end up dying that night. Y'all know how the police be on bullshit. Y'all know they shoot and ask questions later. This man probably could have been shot down on Christmas because you discriminated against him saying that what you felt like he was finna do. And it pissed me off because these people were so happy. They were so grateful. Like, elated. They couldn't even believe that I was doing this for them. Like, praying to God, thanking God, thank you so much for gifting me this for Christmas. And y'all took these people gift away from them. Y'all took these people blessing away from them because y'all got issues within y'all selves. And she still didn't get my refund. 400 and some dollars down the drain because these people didn't even fucking stay here. Disgusting. Wingate, disgusting. When I found out this lady's name, she needs to be fired. So as you saw and heard her say there that it cost her $400 to try to put them up actually for a couple of days, but then the hotel staff there kicked them out and even threatened to call the police on them if they did not leave. She said the staff also said that they were afraid that I guess the man was gonna jump over the counter, but if you saw the sister illustrate, it doesn't look like they were gonna be able to jump over anything because there was a partition there and so she is saying how disgraceful it is that they did that. And I totally agree. How do you put somebody out on Christmas? Somebody who is not doing anything and they are, you know, within their right standing to be at that hotel. How do you do that? Well, I'm going to tell you how you do it. I don't know if y'all noticed who was standing at that counter, but they looked like they were of the Hispanic, you know, culture or whatever. And they felt like they could exercise white supremacy and deny black people a place to stay for a couple of nights. That's all that was. And so a lot of times we talk about this black and brown coalition, how we need to stand together. Does that look like they were standing with black people there? Black people who weren't doing anything but being homeless. So homeless is a bad thing now. If you're trying to get a nice warm place to stay, maybe take a nice hot shower and relax for just a couple of days, that's, that's doing something wrong. So this coalition does not exist. But again, those, you know, two ladies who seem like they're Hispanic standing there exercising power over people. That is the definition of racism and not only exercising power per se, they're going to weaponize the police if they don't do what they tell them to do. Really? Have they not been watching the news that when you weaponize the police on black people, a lot of times they don't turn out right, but something tells me they don't care. They just didn't want those black people. Perhaps they were jealous. Oh, well, she's going to, you know, pay for a room for them. We're not going to let them. We're going to find a reason for them not to be here, right? And so I'm glad that sister called them out. And yes, again, that is Wingate at Wyndham in Atlanta, Georgia. If y'all are interested in going by their Yelp page, that's on you. I'm not going to tell you what to do. But yeah, it should be known that that's how they feel about black homeless people there at that hotel. So anyway, y'all tell me what you think of this. And for more insightful commentary, please subscribe to this channel and my channel, The Demetri K Show, here on YouTube. Peace.